Hi guys, Ruth Delgado here and Ruth Delgado's Glamour page. Sorry guys, I'm here with my scarf on my head today. I decided to do a at the end of the day video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videos tomorrow, but tonight I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a couple of speaking, talking to you videos and getting some things off my chest, pretty much. So, there's a few subjects that I've been wanting to touch on for quite some time now. And um, I finally decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and do it. So, the first subject that I'm going to touch on is going to be about a story that I actually came across not too long ago. Let's throw that over to um, where it was a beautiful young black woman that originally Miss Ayanla Van Zandt, um, who is a um, counselor. Um, somebody that helps people with their issues and their problems in their family and things of that sort. So, she was talking to Ayanna Van Zandt in one video where Ayanna asked her a question. And um, the question was, would you ever date a truck driver? Okay. Now me, since this is my video, I can go ahead and answer that question for you. I have already dated a truck driver. Actually, the person that, the one person that I almost had, um, um, I almost successfully had a child by, that's, that's actually the, the, the person that I ended up dating that was a truck, a truck driver. So clearly my answer would have been yes to Ayanna because I've already dated a, 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 um, a truck driver. Um, actually, I've dated more than one. So, you know, um, my question would have been, I mean, my answer would have been yes. But as of today, as of Wednesday, May 17, 2023, I'm not quite sure if I still would date a truck driver but I know in the past I already have and I would. So this young lady that Ayanna was speaking to, which I cannot remember her name at the moment, but I do remember uh, Ayanna's name. So this young lady that Ayanna was speaking to basically was saying that no, she wouldn't date a truck driver unless he was the owner of the truck driving company and she ended up explaining later on why she gave that solution as to what she would do she basically was saying that she decided that that's what she wanted to do because she's seen it's way too much um saturation of being in poverty being stuck in situations where you can't come up out of it um, being like really in messed up situations where you have to settle as a black woman. She says there's way too many situations when you don't get with a man that has a certain amount of money where you have to settle. And then she said also on top of that, you know, she is a, um, I think she said she was a lawyer, but don't quote me on that. But she said she had, like, you know, like a really good job. So she gets good money. So she's like, that's another reason why she would like a man that gets good money as well. Because she gets good money already. So she want to be with somebody that gets good money. So they can get more good, even better money together. And as I was hearing her speak of the reasons behind why she decided to tell Ayanna no, she wouldn't date a truck driver unless he owned the trucks i already kind of knew that was the reason why she was this deciding to you know say that 
but for her to come back and basically you know reiterate that I was like I already knew that that was the reason why she decided to say that because it is when you look at black America when you look at black people too many times too often you see poverty you see lack you see slack you see people not doing their best and so as a black woman seeing this too consistently in your own community it does make sense where you would say you know what i'm not going to keep ending up myself in this predicament and situation and i'm also not going to support anybody else being in this type of situation because it's not good it's not healthy and it lands you in a situation where you're not comfortable so um i do completely understand what she was saying now there was a lot of people making weird crazy ridiculous comments even dr umar decided to put his little two cents in it like it was just a lot of people making comments and having something to say but it's somebody that had something to say was a male who had something to say that actually wrote a comment under the um conversation between dr umar and this same woman that miss ayana vincent originally asked this question to i'm not going to talk about dr umar (laughs) but i am going to discuss and um show you guys what this guy said so it was a black man thank goodness because i love to hear black men be smart and know what they're talking about so he comments on dr umar and this lady's conversation about the same subject and he says still with this topic what she said was a hundred percent on point always taken out of context to those who don't listen and analyze and speak out of the emotions what she's saying is that what she's saying is that we should want to better ourselves all the time this world is constantly evolving and you should too a job that was valuable 20 30 years ago might not be valuable in the future all is going to replace hundreds of jobs so what is the person going to say i'm not going to do anything and be homeless because my job got replaced come on yes city jobs years ago were like a blessing back then great retiring plan unions hold on y'all i lost where i was at great retiring plan unions and it's why people had them and stood working for years But at the same time, a person can try to also develop themselves and strive for even better, not just stay comfortable. She doesn't have a problem with that, though, because every situation is different. People do get tired and have to come home to raise a family. But she was asked if she would date a bus driver. She wants a man that keeps trying to better himself. I don't see nothing wrong. She ain't disrespect no one from any working class. The audience too, it and made up that narrative in their heads. Just a bunch of emotional people but her. And I thanked him for that comment because I said in all actuality, that is exactly the truth. People like to not even listen to understand. People like to listen to reply and not even think about what they're replying is going to even be before they even open their mouth and half the time people don't even be knowing what they be saying they just be speaking just to speak just because they can open up their mouth but they're not being very constructive about what comes out of their mouth though at the end of the day so i agreed with his uh comment was saying because i'm like that's exactly what the truth is um 
she's just talking about wanting to be with somebody that's constantly growing moving forward believing in him, himself and knowing that you know I don't have to stay limited I don't have to stick with one specific thing I can spread myself around a little bit like he said things have been going on lately where people have found themselves without jobs or without security and having jobs who aren't used to it as a matter of fact I remember when I was with my ex one of my ex-boyfriends I was with I remember telling him and this was before COVID and I know that this is what COVID was what I was talking about even though I didn't know anything about COVID at the time because this was about at least about six maybe even seven years ago um, I was with my ex-boyfriend and I remember telling him that sir this world is about to fall on such hard times and bad times that it's not used to y'all think y'all used to it because y'all have had issues and complications here and there every once in a blue moon but y'all have never gotten used to um having job positions that y'all thought y'all were going to be safe in just to end up losing that job position when you least expect it they didn't have that experience but they ended up having it after covid though after covid hit it was a lot of people that was used to having stable secure great jobs like he said working for the city and working for the government where they didn't have nothing to worry about because they were set they had medical insurance you know they had vacation time you know they had whatever else they had that came along with it with all the stability that they can maintain as well just by having the job so you know i remember telling my ex that and him laughing in my face and calling me crazy and now fast forward about six seven years the whole world shut down for for a while and and he knows it you know what i'm saying so i'm pretty sure that when everything went down and went and happened with covid my ex was sitting there like wow i'll be dead gone she was right yep i was even though i didn't know clearly exactly completely all that i was talking about at the moment <laughs> because i didn't have the details yet but i knew that some kind of calamity was about to befall the earth where people was going to be without jobs that had never been without jobs before. People was going to be unstable that had never been unstable before. People were going to be in finding themselves in predicaments that they've never been in before. Or if they have been in, them, in, in those predicaments before, it's been a long time since. So they not used to it and had to get used to it. And, you know, that was very new for a lot of people. That we're not used to struggling we're, we're not used to being in a peculiar predicament but they had to get used to it when it ended up occurring and happening and they felt like they had no choice but to deal with it so I decided to talk about that because I felt like that subject was like so weird matter of fact you know what guys I'm going to listen to the um recording that they have of her speaking not the recording of her speaking with ayana but the recording i believe of her responding to dr umar i'm going to listen to it in my earphone and then i'm just going to discuss what i'm hearing with you guys so that i can continue to speak about this
and she's talking about permanent black underclass so she's basically talking about how she sees how it seems to be very consistent that black people just seems to get too comfortable in a permanent black underclass like it's just they get too safe in an area where it's not safe that's what she's talking about now i can't pause this video i can only like mute it while she's talking i don't even know how long this video is okay it's not that long because dr omar talking is longer and i'm not gonna listen to what he has to say because he is just too weirdo for me for me to listen to everything that he's saying honestly it doesn't even matter she's saying basically it doesn't really even matter who dates who who's who anybody is dating like it really doesn't even matter she's basically saying that what she is supporting and standing behind is giving black people options and this is something else that i always like to talk about to people especially my boyfriend because i always be trying to explain to him how the government and people that don't love you and care about you really seem to be consistent when it comes to making sure you don't have many options. Um, they like to put you in a predicament where either you don't have any options or you have all of the worst options possible that the only thing you could choose is something bad because that's all you have to choose from. And she's talking about how, you know, she's supporting giving black people more options and putting black people in a better space to be able to be more lucrative and be more successful and be able to have a career that is elevated and constantly um, progressive and improving over time as opposed to getting stuck and not moving and not being secured and just flopping over time because you can only barely make it but for so long before everything is it's not possible to make it anymore so that's basically what she's saying i'm trying to listen to everything but it's kind of hard to listen to everything because like i said i don't even know how long the video is for and i don't want to push this video out too long and since you guys aren't hearing it i don't want to have myself on this video supposed to be talking to you guys but listening too long to the video trying to get what she's saying so i'm gonna try one more time <coughs> to listen to the complete video of what she's speaking about and if i don't get the chance to get all the way through with it then i just won't get the chance to get all the way through with it but i will reference to and speak on what i do catch because I do feel like this is a, a important conversation that needs to be had. You know, I remember Ayanna was saying like, you know, she would date a truck driver. And she was like, I love truck drivers and I love hardworking men. She was like, I don't look for your job to be the most important part of you as a black man. I feel like you deserve love too. And she was like, you know, if you treat your mother right, you treat your family right you love your friends and you respectable of them and you are a good person then i will give you a chance that's what basically ayana was saying and i understand completely what she was saying you know i would not have anything negative to say against it because like i said i've already dated um truck drivers but my whole twist is just like this other young lady is saying i do want to give myself better opportunity and a better future and a better chance um possibly building a family that is not going to have the background of being poor or if we do have the background of being poor we don't stay that way so i agree with her so i'm going to try again to listen to the rest of this recording and see what she's saying
preference is a preference everybody has a preference make sure you're always elevating and offering options to black Americans so that they can get out of first class and permanent underclass So here's the thing. She's talking about the Census Bureau. I remember um, about 13 years ago now, to be exact, I was working for the Census Bureau. Um, this was way before I ended up having a record or anything like that. So um, she's basically talking about how she found out through the Census Bureau and she was telling Charlemagne about how, you know, the, the black people have kind of a, a stuck position in lower class when it comes to overall all other nationalities she was like black people are the last of the totem pole and she was like you know if we give ourselves more options then we won't have to be in that position overall when it comes to different nationalities in this country in this you know community and I agree with that and that's one of the major reasons why I feel like even though in the past I have dated men that were truck drivers multiple different men that were truck drivers to this day I do agree with this young lady and I wouldn't in the future date truck drivers unless they have more than just being a truck driver as their career if they have anything else as their career that they are um, serious about and they make good money with, then I will give them an opportunity and I will give them a chance. But if being a truck driver is all they do and it's not their own truck driving company where they are already established, then no, I wouldn't give them a chance at this point because I have gotten to the point in my life where I'm older now and I'm wiser now and... I want more for myself and for any possible family that I may have in the future. So with that being said, I want to be with someone that has a better future already and that is more secure in their life already so that when it's time for them to connect with me, to have a family with me, to build a community with me, he can afford it and he can be able to do so without having complications and issues because he's financially stuck or messed up or jacked up and can't move with his finances. No woman needs that problem. And too many times, there that is what the problem be and the issues be when it comes to dating. You get tired of dealing with a man that is constantly struggling with his finances, constantly struggling with keeping a job or constantly struggling with having his job respect him and give him more love give him more money give him more support because he's doing more for them like it's so much to take into consideration when it comes to this subject but i'm going to do the best that i can to bring it all together and just say <clears throat> as a you know getting older and wiser woman i completely understand another young woman having the same type of mentality as me and saying, you know what, been there, done that, not trying to go back. Um, I want to do better than that this time around. And I want to break the chains of poverty in my community and finally put myself in a position to be able to win when it comes to um, earning a life that is more beautiful and more amazing and more productive and more successful when it comes to me and how I want my life to turn out to be. You know, um, you deserve to have options. You deserve to be in a position where you can make moves that most other people may not have been able to make. Where you can, you know, 
do certain things that you may not have been able to do before. So I believe with that being the case, that that is definitely more than enough reason for you to change your mind about who you would date and decide to date better men, better quality men that have better quality jobs so that they can have better money. So that if y'all end up creating a family, having children, etc., etc., y'all can afford that family and those children and y'all can actually put yourselves in a better predicament later in 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 life you know after you are with this person as opposed to not being able to put yourself in a better position because you don't have nothing and he can't give you anything because he barely has anything we need to finally stop being in those type of predicaments and situations and finally put ourselves in better situations and have better circumstances i mean that's what's necessary and important at this point and i believe that's what she was really trying to say like you know it's more important for black women black families to finally decide to say no to being less than or not the best than and finally say yes to improving and stepping up their game and stepping up levels of their life and their circumstances and their situations and not allowing life to keep them held down in a position in a state where they don't really want to be at but yet they keep complaining and keep murmuring about being in that state but not doing enough to get out of it so guys i hope i ended up bringing everything together to you know get you guys to really understand where i was coming from with bringing you guys this video to start with and trying to discuss you know what circumstances and issues you know really was the complication in this particular story i hope you guys got a lot of informative information um understanding and hope from this video and um i would like for you guys to make sure you like comment share and subscribe and what make sure you become a part of the truth drop because why because when you rocking with roof you rocking with the truth and that's just that on that and so if you want to hear about the truth you want to hear about more videos like this you like seeing videos like this make sure you press that subscribe button and you become a part of the truth tribe and i will see you guys in the next video